the puppeteer of pump and dumps, the master market manipulator, and the guardian of ill-gotten gains himself, Gary Gensler, decided to accidentally pump the price of Bitcoin and then crash the crypto price. So here's what happened. Earlier today, the SEC's Twitter said that they are granting approval for the Bitcoin ETF. The price immediately spikes up to over $47,600 and then very quickly drops down to $45,400. And here's why. Gary Gensler said that their own SEC Twitter account was compromised and an unauthorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing and trading of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products. So we got a massive flush of leverage, people that had shorts and longs for Bitcoin. Senator Cynthia Loomis said fraudulent announcements like the one that was made on the SEC social media can manipulate markets. We need transparency on what happened. Jack Dorsey, the ex-CEO and founder of Twitter, said no way that was a hack from the SEC's Twitter account. Just a few months ago, the SEC said on their Twitter account, careful what you read on the internet, the best source of information about the SEC is the SEC. Clearly though, not the SEC's Twitter. We had Elon Musk over at Twitter today confirm that this was indeed a hack and the SEC Gov Twitter account was compromised. But it was not due to any breach of X's systems, but rather due to an unidentified individual obtaining control over a phone number associated with the SEC Gov account through a third party. They say we can also confirm that the account did not have two-factor authentication enabled at the time the account was compromised. So we have the master of financial security, Gary Gensler, the SEC, protecting all of us, but they don't have two-factor authentication turned on on their own freaking Twitter. You watching this probably have 2FA enabled on your Twitter, and your Twitter has nowhere near the amount of power that the SEC's Twitter has. And a few months ago in October, Gary Gensler himself said, this is a reminder to secure your financial accounts as well as protect against identity theft and fraud. Remember to use strong passphrases or passwords. Set up multi-factor authentication oops, and keep account alerts turned on. It looks like Gary just completely forgot to do what he tells other people to do. So leave your comments below. What do you think happened here? Do you think that Gary accidentally had somebody hack into their account to basically share fake news about the Bitcoin ETF approval to pump the price up and then drop the price when he said it was a hacked tweet? Or do you think this was actually just a mistake that there was nothing fishy going on? Leave your comments below what you think.